double bet, some is double and single. Welcome our chief guest and our guest of honor. Group uh, uh, Area General Manager, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, Bulavanaka, and a very good afternoon to all of you. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, for the past uh, few months, um, I've been around Fiji and, and, and visiting various industry stakeholders who've been severely impacted by COVID-19 and this pandemic. And I acknowledge that this is a uh, very difficult time uh, and many businesses and Fijians that are associated with the tourism industry are actually suffering. But even during this difficult time, we actually see hope uh, through those who, who have still labored on and using this time, working with the Fijian government, working with each other to actually come up with creative ways to continue business. And this is one of the reasons why we're actually here today, to see one of the, one of the pioneers of the Fijian tourism industry, Mr. YP Reddy, and his team stage this particular trade show. You've continued to keep faith in Fiji and your potential as a 100% locally owned managed company in business for over 50 odd years. Ladies and gentlemen, we have continuously advocated the diversification uh, aspect of, of COVID-19 at all different levels, and whether it is as individuals or as businesses or even as industries. So today we proudly acknowledge Mr. Reddy's leadership in expanding the current hospitality portfolio into different sectors such as education, construction, engineering equipment, uh, retail insurance, and, S and, uh, and real estate, which puts them in, in an even greater position regionally and actually globally. Ladies and gentlemen, this today is a great opportunity for buyers and sellers alike to discover the latest developments in this industry. And I, and I see a lot of familiar faces, which actually shows the importance of reinforcing your networks between all stakeholders in the spirit of exploring new possibilities. You'll be presented with new ideas with potential customers through refreshed uh, perspective and stepping away from traditional networking events in, and uh, immersing yourself into experiences that excite customers. As a nation, ladies and gentlemen, we actually pride ourselves in being the hub of the Pacific and on many different fronts. And we're thrilled to witness that the Reddy Group has grown over the last few dec decades and has helped us maintain this actual status quo. Ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic has actually taught us a lot. It has taught us how to be self-sufficient. It has taught us empathy. And most importantly, it has taught us resilience through solidarity. And another thing that we've learned is that the impacts of uh, the pandemic are actually far-reaching, beyond health. It's cross-sectional, causing unparalleled socio-economic impacts. So we continue to work tirelessly on creating and, and sustaining livelihoods for Fijians during this particular pandemic. In an effort, as you all know, in an effort to actually support livelihoods, the Fijian government actually introduced a concessional loan for MSMEs, an initiative, initiative that will go towards existing uh, businesses worst affected by the pandemic. And they will also go to those budding, uh, aspiring entrepreneurs, including those who may have been laid off but have particular skills to actually start their own business. Ladies and gentlemen, about 5,000 odd applications to date have already been assessed, out of which more than 3,700 have been approved at a value of about $22.5 million. The Fijian Revenue and Customs uh, Services has already dispersed close to $13 million to those MSMEs. And I'm actually pleased to announce that we have amongst us some of those recipients also of the concessional loans. And this loan will give these Fijians working capital uh, needed there that will really help with their businesses. And this is the level of collaboration and the level of solidarity that we actually need. These recipients, ladies and gentlemen, come from uh, different backgrounds, but are brought together by their vigor to earn a living and to contribute towards the, uh, the livelihood of their families and their loved ones. 
Yeah, I'll just spell out a few examples. I understand Ms. Uh, Marianne Ingera is actually in the pastry business and she owns a stall at Langeri Market and with a loan she'll expand her business by investing in a bigger oven to meet um, uh, customers' demand. As you all know, we love bread. Mr. Nilesh, uh, Nikesh Prasad, who was in the construction industry, was actually laid off due, the, due to the pandemic. So Mr. Prasad, with his loan, uh, will actually start a food and barbecue stand in Nambua. Simeone uh, Tuisawana was also laid off from the retail sector. And due to the pandemic, now he's actually able to support his family through his new business venture, uh, where he'll actually purchase kava from the village and retail it in Suba. And also, Unaesi Lakao uh, Nideva uh, will use the loan to diversify into the seafood business from her uh, food pack and vegetable business. Uh, Mohammed uh, Estehar Hassan, a survey consultant, will also use this, his loan to expand his business and open a branch in Nandi, employing two additional Fijians who will, he will also use the funds to purchase implements for his sugarcane farm in Bar. So I want to take this opportunity to, to ask you all to please join me in congratulating and wishing all of them well. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you actually uh, take inspiration, and I think all of you need to do this, you should take inspiration from our very own business tycoon, Mr. Waipi Reddy. You know, he's an inspiration to all of us. Going local is actually undoubtedly one of the most effective and, and uh, strongest strategies to actually deploy and not just in the wake of the pandemic but actually in the future and where it's your employees your management or your customers or supporting locals is actually extremely important earlier this year we actually launched the love our locals campaign to build consumer confidence and ignite economic economic activity in the tourism sector and so i want to thank the town or group also for using this platform to introduce guests new experiences under the campaign. And I express my appreciation also to the Tanawa Hotel Group for keeping Fijians employed in the tourism sector. And whilst employment numbers have actually reduced, I'm told the staff have been relentless in their support to the group by putting aside their normal job descriptions and being hands-on with any tasks available within their capacity. Ladies and gentlemen, your sales and marketing activities also uh, don't have to end with this particular trade show. We encourage you to progress and ensure we continue to deliver safe and quality services for the industry, and that actually remains at, uh, uh, of the highest priority. This is a very important statement, ladies and gentlemen. This is our home, and we need to build back the foundation of our home even stronger than we've had before. And I assure you here today that your government will continue to support the tourism industry. So with those few words, it gives me great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to officially declare the Tanwa Hotel Group trade show open. I wish you all a successful and uh, rewarding time. Thank you very much. Navalu.